Hey guys, if you're watching this, you're probably interested in making your own NFT minting website on Solana. And if you're a developer from 2021, you might be wondering, why should I use version 1 over version 2? Well, unfortunately, Metaplex made this post that they will be no longer supporting version 1 after January 5th. This means that old contracts, old candy machines will still work, but you cannot make new ones, and therefore you have to use version 2. Um, and to my surprise, there's not a lot of tutorials out there on how to use version 2. If you're curious to see how a version 2 website might look, I'll leave my project in the description. I already used version 2 and the Mint is currently live. Um, you can see it uses a CAPTCHA verification, so it is very resistant to bots at the moment. Alright, I'd like to crack on to the actual tutorial. So for this, you will need VS Code and Node.js. There are a lot of tutorials out there, so I'll just link them, and I know you guys can get it done. Once you have Node.js and VS Code installed, you want to start installing the Solana tool suit. There are three different ways to install Solana, but I will only go over the Windows uh, commands, because I have a Windows computer, but there is also instructions for Mac OS and Linux. If you just follow those and meet up with me later on in the tutorial, we should be perfectly fine. All it is is installing Solana. If you use Windows, there's one thing to note. You have to use Command Prompt as an administrator because there are some permission issues that will stop you from actually downloading Solana. So you would go to CMD, type it in Windows, Click Run as Administrator. You might not be able to see this on my screen. My screen capture doesn't do too well. I'll increase the size. Now, I want to get to my desktop folder. So I'm just going to travel there by uh, going up to the uh, drive C drive directory and then going into the users and then my username for my computer which then I can just get to desktop. While I'm at the desktop directory I can copy the Solana command and paste it in. You may notice that was pretty quick and the numbers look kind of whack for me. I already have Solana installed so downloading more of Solana doesn't really do anything. The next line is to actually install what you've downloaded and you just run that. Um, for me it says checking for updates but uh, it says that I'm already up to date. For you it should already it should show you that it's installing it. And then to make sure that you have the right version of Solana you ru run this command Solana dash dash version and I'll give you your version. If you're coming back to this and you feel like you want a more updated version of Solana, you just run solana-install update and you will get a way to check for updates. It's all up to date. Next up, we want to install Metaplex. To do that, you need to make sure you have git installed. Um, if you just click on this link, it will take you to a directory. You can also look up many tutorials on how to install git. Once you have git installed, what you want to do is you want to go to your desktop and quickly make a new folder. Name it Name it NFT stuff. Cuz you're doing NFT stuff. Then you would copy this command. Go back to your CMD go into that folder you just created so nft stuff uh, two folders name that and then you will paste this git command into this directory metaplex is not a small file so it would definitely take a little bit of time to get it to download all right 
once it's installed, what you want to do is you want to go to this website again and uh, copy the yarn install command. Here you will just paste in the yarn install. It will install yarn into the git project you just downloaded. It may take a second again because these are pretty large uh, folders. All right, once you're done with downloading the yarn, you want to make sure you have the correct version of TS Node installed. Um, you just copy this command, plug it in, and it should return exactly what is written here in the documents. Now we want to set up our Solana wallet. That's going to be pretty simple. Let's check if there is a Solana wallet. You just simply click. I currently have a Solana wallet that is be active, so I can see my wallet public address. But if you don't have a wallet, it will tell you to do something like this, where it will generate a new keygen file. Um, and all you have to do is you have to copy this this command right here paste it into CMD and then you can enter any passphrase you want I'm gonna enter nothing and that's perfectly fine what I suggest you do now is you copy the public key and this passphrase you'll want to enter that into a document somewhere so I suggest putting it into the same folder that you have everything else in. You go to Visual VS Code and you open a folder. Go to the folder that you created. Mine is on my desktop called NFT stuff. I go into the tilde, Metaplex, and now I can just select this folder and open it up. In here, really quick, I'm just going to create a new file called import.txt. And here, I'm just going to paste the public key and the seed passphrase. Normally, you shouldn't save the passphrase like this. In fact, I highly recommend you only save the public key if you're going to do everything on your computer and write your passphrase somewhere else because if people get access to your computer and see these files they can actually take control of your wallet that being said we're ready to configure the Solana network with our wallet we copy the next command we paste it into here and it should automatically configure our Solana network with the directory to the current wallet that we just created. Next we want to set the Solana network to the DevNet network. This way we can test things without actually paying for them. Just enter and both times it should be something very simple like these two blocks of information. If you want to just make sure that you've got the correct configuration, you type Solana config get and it will spit out the exact configuration that you have on your computer. Now, if you type Solana balance, it should say zero. There's no Solana in your newly created wallet. To get more balance, all you have to do is airdrop yourself some just like that. Congratulations, now you are the proud owner of two Solana on your computer. Um, and I'm just going to do it again, why not? Next up, we want to configure Candy Machine. To do this, we have to go into the folder within our Visual Studio Code, go to JS, Packages, CLI, and here we're going to change two things. We're going to change one folder named example assets to just assets. And we're going to rename example candy machine upload 
to uh, config to just config. That way, these are two very simple names. We don't need to worry about all the examples. Um, now, what assets is, is it's essentially two paired files, the PNG of your NFT and the information that will be paired with your NFT, the JSON files. Um, the config file will hold different settings for your candy machine. For instance, the price, you can set it to whatever you want. I'm going to set it to 0.2 sol for now. The number of NFTs, if you saw in the example uh, asset folder, there are a pair of 0 through 9, which means there's 10 assets or 10 pairs. Gatekeeper is a new feature that was added to Solana. It helps keep your mint secure. I highly recommend it if you don't want to be botted and you want to make sure that regardless of your mint, no one can just wail in completely. Next up, we just want to enter in the public key that we were given for the sole treasury account. Oh, and make sure that you put quotation marks. This essentially makes it so that when your candy machine goes live, this uh, account will be given all of the Solana that will be minted. Next up, we want to select a date to where this project will go live. Um, say we wanted to do it on January 6th. We can do 06 January 2021. And then we enter the time. I'm just going to do something random 08 30 00 EST. You may notice EST, that's not universal time, but you can decide to use universal, it's up to you. You can use any time zone you want. I'm just using EST as an example. And this time goes up to 23. So make sure that if you wanna do AM or PM, you do the conversion by adding to 12, military time. This is all I'm going to change in the candy machine file. If you wish to add extra settings or make different changes, I highly recommend you read this table that Metaplex has given us. It goes over in detail what the different settings are and what they do. They even go into detail over some of the settings and different variations you can use. Next up, we just want to add the new assets to our folder. I found that I kept having issues with the assets that were given by default by Metaplex, so I just replaced them with my own that I know that work. All right, so I decided I wanted to try to use the first 10 images of my actual collection what I can do is I can go to the folder with the assets and I can copy and paste them in. Now I have my assets in the correct folder. At this point, if you've double checked your metadata and your PNGs and you know that your settings in your config file are correct, you are ready to upload your candy machine. All you need to do is copy this command. I really recommend going to your important file and writing down some of these commands. So once you have it copied from the website, there are a few things you want to change. I'll show you what they are right now. Since our asset folder is right here, we want to copy the path and paste it. Get rid of everything up to the tilde. Our config file is right here, so we want to copy that path and paste it over this config and get rid of everything up till the tilde. 
make sure everything is on one line and now you should be good after changing the assets and the config to the correct file directories you just paste into your CMD and I know that these JSON files work so I should be able to run this command do be patient with this process it does take a very long time for instance a collection of 5000 and 555 per se just random number will take you around six to six and a half hours just to upload onto candy machine if you start seeing errors and your nfts are not being uploaded properly do not panic one thing you should try to check is go out of your metaplex folder back into the super folder and go into your cache this cache file will have all of the uh, NFT correct data. Do not open this file while this is running, but it, you should see the size increase while this is running. All right, so my candy machine has successfully uploaded these 10 NFTs to the dev network. Now say I'm not happy. I want to change the price. I think my NFTs are worth more than 0.2. All I have to do is increase the price right here, save the file, and the only thing I'm going to change will be the upload in the very beginning of the command right here. Change that to update underscore candy underscore machine. All right, now it's updated. And you can do the same thing with the live date. You can do the same thing if even if these are null. You can change any of the candy machine settings just like that and then update it using this one command. And I'll put both commands in the description. So let me copy and paste. And there is one more command that you need. And all you have to do is delete the assets directory and type verify if you ever feel anxious about your project not properly working you can verify it using this command it seems to be working and it shows me that it's ready to deploy uh, one thing I didn't check so far is my balance you should also notice that your balance is not exactly the same as it was before there are some missing Solana. It went towards Candy Machine. In the next part of the video, I will go over the minting website. If you guys still have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me in the DripBot Mafia Discord. I will try to get back to anyone who messages in the Dev Help channel. If you like this content and you wish to support me, I suggest minting one of the DripBot Mafias. I think it's a worthwhile NFT and the team has worked very earnestly to get it done and make sure that the art is high quality.